I made a YouTube short about the Harbor Freight waterproof case last year and it got over a million views. But apparently this isn't a good enough water holding contraption. So instead of using that, we're gonna use this. Two main things I'm going to address in this test is one, there was a lot of comments saying that because I put the weight on top, it compressed the seal together. So the seal may already be ruined and this test is pretty much a failure, but I'm going to tie my weight to the handle and let it stay down in the container like that. The second test is how long I'm doing it. I went for only about 30 minutes before. This time, let's go for 72 hours. I'm gonna perform the dryness test the same way I did in the last one by just using some paper because that'll soak up any water that might come in and see how it turns out. One thing to make sure for this test is that this is completely closed tight. I even put a reminder for myself. All right, now let's just fill it with some water. Now one thing you should always make sure of when you do a test like this, so make sure you do it in the winter time. So that way, you know, the top will freeze over. Now while that is filling up, here is what I am using to weigh it down. Hopefully this will be enough to hold all that air trapped in there down. All right, so this water is gonna be really cold, but let's go ahead and get this put in there if we can. Okay, this is a little heavy. Boy, I think that was just enough weight to keep that case down. All right, so this is what we got going on. You can see down there the bubbles coming from the block down there, but it doesn't look like there's any coming from the case. The official time for starting this test is 2.44 on Friday. So let's come back Monday and see how this is doing. I just came out to check on this the next day. This is Saturday morning and that air bubble is actually stopped from this side. So, I don't know, we might have stayed watertight. Still got a couple more days to go. All right, so it is now at the 72 hour mark and it's time to take a look. And just as I predicted, a little bit of ice on the top, not much though. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm going to make sure it's completely dried out. All right, so I blew this off with the leaf blower and I've had this setting for probably a good 30 minutes or so just to hopefully let some of the remaining water dry. I think I'm going to go ahead and open this up to maybe release any pressure. Okay, so no, no pressure, but that might help me in opening. So here is finally the big reveal on how waterproof this was for our 72 hour challenge. <laughs> Look at that. Everything is completely dry. There is still water around the edges of the seal from it opening, but wow, all these papers are completely dry and the inside, it's all dry. I gotta admit, that is very impressive. I honestly didn't necessarily have any good or bad expectations. I was just really curious on how well it would last three days underwater. Now, obviously this was a really extreme case scenario, keeping this completely underwater 
for three days because most of the time it's just going to be splashed or if it gets in the water it'll just float. If there's any other cases you might have an idea of waterproof testing, let me know in the comments. I already have an idea for another test using the same methods of one of these Milwaukee packout cases over here and see how well it does. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.